Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you one of the most discussed new features in Python 3.8, that is the assignment expression, also known as the walrus operator. It is a way to evaluate an expression and assign it to a variable in the same statement. So you would use the walrus operator always in the context of an expression rather than as a standalone statement. The syntax for the walrus operator is a colon followed by an equal sign and with this we assign the expression to a variable and also evaluate the expression in the same statement. So in this example we say print walrus colon equals true. So this will assign the value true to the variable walrus and we also evaluate the print statement, the print expression so let's run this by saying python walrus.py. Then we see that this prints true. And now if we print walrus again, then we see that this will print true again because walrus now has the value true. So yeah, this is how it works with the walrus operator. And without the walrus operator, we would write it in two lines. So we say walrus equals true so we create a variable and assign a value and then we do the next expression the print statement print walrus so this is without and this is with the walrus operator so now let me show you two examples where this can be useful the first one is to simplify the code in some cases where we must evaluate expressions. So let's say we want to get the user input and append it to a list as long as the user doesn't type quit. So typically we would do it like this. So let me delete this here. And now let's create an empty list inputs equals list an empty list. And then let's say while true and then let's get the input and store it in the variable current equals input. So the built in input function and then let's say write something and then let's check if current equals equals quit and then we break and escape from the while loop. And otherwise we append it to our list. So inputs dot append current and then we print the inputs. So let's clear this and run this and let's write hello and hi and quit. Then this will print the list now. And so this works, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six lines. And now with the walrus operator, we can simplify this. So in the while true check, we can actually use the walrus assignment expression and check while. And now let's say while current colon equals. And now let's evaluate the input expression input write something. And now let's further evaluate this while this is not equal to quit. Then we say inputs dot append current. And now this is possible possible because now current already um, got assigned the input of the user. So now this is one, two, three lines. And now let's clear this and run this and let's write hello, hi, and quit. Then we see that this works too, but it's much shorter now. So this is the first example where this can be useful. And now the second example is if we want to use a API requests and evaluate these express uh, these requests and filter them with list comprehension. So let's say we need to make 20 requests to an API that will return some score data and we only want to return results that are greater than five and now assume that each request will return different data and we want to use the fancy list comprehension because we don't like for loops. And then without the walrus operator, there's actually no way to use this with list comprehension. 
so let me show you what I mean. So let's write some fake API function. So let's say import random and then let's create a function define get score data and here we simply return random dot rand range between one and 10. So this will return a value in this range, a random value. And now let's use list comprehension and score this and, and save this in a list that we call scores equals. And now it, let's use a list comprehension. And here we call the get score data. And then we say for underscore in range 20 because we want to call the API, uh, API 20 times. And now what we actually have to do, we want to filter it. So we should write if score greater or equal than five. So it should look something like this, but this doesn't work because now here we evaluate the expression score, but we don't know the scores yet because we actually first have to, to call the API and then we can assign it to the new list. So we can do it in two list comprehension statements. So we can get all the 20 scores and then we can further filter them by saying scores equals score for score in scores. If score is greater or equal than five. And now if you print scores, then this works. So let me clear this and run this. Then we see that we have a list with values only greater or equal than five, but now we needed two list comprehension statements. So let's try to achieve this in one line. And for this, we need the walrus operator. So we can say scores equals, and then here we say, um, score for underscore in range 20, 20 times. And now we say if and evaluate the expression and also assign it to the score uh, variable. So if score colon equals, and now let's call the API get score data. And now let's further evaluate this if this expression greater or equal than five. So this is how we do it with the walrus operator. And now let's clear this and run this. Then we see that this works. So yeah, this is the second example where this can be useful. And that's it about the walrus operator. Let me know in the comments if you like this new feature or not. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.